If you're running a business, but you're still using an email address like this, you can actually get set up with a much more professional looking branded email address for free that you can still run completely through Gmail. So I've wanted to make this video for the longest time because I still get emails from a bunch of small business owners who still have a Gmail or a Hotmail or God forbid an AOL email address, but I actually resisted making this video for years now because it always used to be so complicated. But now it's actually super easy to do, even for a total newbie. So all it takes is about 10 minutes. And since your new email address will be something like matt at yourbusinessname.com, you'll need to own the website yourbusinessname.com for this to work. So if you need a website, just go to westmcdowell.com hosting, where you can grab a pretty huge discount on my web host of choice, Bluehost, as well as that free domain name. So once you've got your website, we can get started. Okay, so the first step here is going to be just logging into your hosting account. For me, it's Bluehost. For you, it might be something else. Um, but the steps are going to be largely the same here for setting up your initial email address. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in here. And then from here, you're just gonna need to find out where you can set up email. Within Bluehost, you go over to not email in office, you'd think you would do that, but you actually go down to advanced. And you're gonna to wanna to find yourself in a spot kind of like this, where it has all your different options for email. So we're just gonna go over to email accounts. And I've done a test one already, so we have one that's used for available. A lot of times they'll, they'll give you a certain number of free emails you can use. So all we need to do to create a new one is click on create. Then I'm just gonna type in what I want it to be. So Wes at mcdowelldetailing.com. I guess I'm starting a fake uh, auto detailing business here. And then we're just gonna put in a password. So this one's gonna suggest one for us. I'm just gonna make one up myself though, something that's easy to remember. So I'm just gonna click on don't use. And then we're just gonna click on create. All right, so now we have our email address right here. And I'm just gonna click on check email to make sure that it's working. And within Bluehost, they've got an email client right here called Roundcube. I'm just gonna click on open. Maybe slightly different for you, but you wanna get into, within your hosting, you wanna be able to check that email address. So that's right here, it came through just fine. And that tells us that the email address we set up is actually working. But now we have the extra step of we wanna be able to make this work with our Gmail account. So I'm gonna go over to Gmail, I've created a brand new Gmail account for this. You can use one you've already been using or you can use a brand new one. But what's great about this is if you're already used to Gmail, you don't have to go to this clunky thing to check your email every day. You just go right into Gmail and it's all waiting for you there. So in order to make this work, we're just gonna be logged in. We're gonna go up to settings, this little gear icon, and then see all settings. From there, we're gonna go to accounts and import. And the first thing we need to do is go down to check mail from other accounts add a mail account. Now I'm just gonna type in the email address I just created. So in our case, it's Wes at, Wes at mcdowelldetailing.com, next. Make sure import emails from my other account is checked, next. Now we're gonna actually input the same email address. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. We're gonna put in our same password we created for this email. And it's already gonna be pre-populated with this mail dot, and then this will be your website name.com and we wanna check label incoming messages. That way, everything you get for this email address will be labeled with that. So you'll always know where all your business emails are. And then we'll click on add account. Now this step is really important because you not only wanna be able to get emails from this account, you also wanna be able to send emails from that account. So you wanna make sure that's clicked on yes, and then uh, click next. Now you're gonna to wanna to put your name here. You could put something like help or support, so this is what's gonna show up when you email people or when you respond back to them. It'll be like it's coming from you rather than just an email address. So just make sure your name's there and then treat as alias is checked and then next step. And we'll put in our email address one more time and our password one more time. And we'll make sure the first option here is checked using TLS and then add account. Okay, from here, we're gonna to need to go back into our email from your hosting plan. I'm gonna refresh it. And now we've got this email from Gmail. We're gonna open that up and it's got a little confirmation code right here. So I'm just gonna copy that code and then go right back here and enter that code in the box like so and then click on verify. 
Okay, so now everything should be working according to plan now. So let's just go over to Compose and see what it lets us do. We have the option of sending from our Gmail address or if we click on the little triangle, we can also choose our business address. So we can send and receive from that address. But what if we want this to be the default? What if we always want this to be associated with our business email address? There's an extra step you can do if you want to. So let's just get rid of this and let's, we're still on settings under accounts and import. And then we're gonna find the send mail as section. Okay, so see how we have both of our email addresses here? Uh, webcoachwes at gmail or wes at mcdowelldetailing.com. Currently, this is the default email address that everything would send from. But if we wanna make this our default, all we gotta do, you guessed it, make default right here. So now when we go again to compose, it is coming from our brand new professional business email address. All right, so now that you've got your brand new branded email address, the only question is, what's she gonna do with it, right? You've now got a whole new world of email marketing opened up to you when you have a professional email. And yes, email marketing is still very relevant to any small business. It actually has an average ROI of over 4,000%. Yes, you heard that right. So if you click here, I've put together all my best email marketing secrets, tips, and strategies they're gonna help get you up and running quickly so you can use the power of email to get more clients and more profits for your business. So click here and I'll show you absolutely everything.